After infiltrating the church of the ghoulish Gizmo's bunker, our heroes locate Abby hooked up to a massive chaos engine. They discover the cultists are praying to a devil known as Wozniak, the machine god whom they've encountered during the Minion War. Katya renders Abby unconscious after tearing her away from the chaos engine while Bishop and Jack battle the cultists. Nelson, Cheap Day, Rowena, and the Sheriff arrive with reinforcements. However, Cheap Day damages the reactor, setting it to meltdown and turns the tide in favor of Wozniak. Hey, how's it going? This is Mark Dudley, and we are here for... I can't remember what the installment is. <laughs> That's a oh, damn shame. Our Rips Live wow. Play. Our Rips Live Play, Ghost of the Machine. Now, for chapter six, uh, I'll give you a quick rundown. These guys are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's succinct, yeah. That that, that tracks. Uh, uh, that, that, that some, track, yeah. uh, John, or Betty at uh, Chief Date, wanted to show off his toys, and he decided to launch one of his toys into a very sensitive piece of equipment. And now he's trying to find out exactly how sensitive it is. <laughs> hey, hey. Some of us were told that the machine god was in it. And you know what? That's my fucking bag. So, <laughs> if somebody fair fucking enough, needs to bring a new ghost enough. and trap my god inside of a battery, I gotta free him. Like, as fair a, enough, <laughs> fair enough. So, no, let me let me set the theme for you guys once again. So, we are in a bunker, a demonic bunker, yeah. where we have a bunch of cultists who are having the life sucked out of them by uh, a malfunctioning uh, Faraday cage, which. Uh, Houses a machine god slash uh, demon. <laughs> we don't know why these cultists in this cult have, have, have created this Faraday cage or what it is that they plan on doing with it. Our buddy Bishop uh, hacked into the control system of the cage and did something to it. I won't say he shut it down, but it wasn't good. And it's hey, hey, it's not malfunctioning because of me. And Chief Date put the coup de gras on the thing by uh showing us his pretty uh uh chainsaw blade uh weapon and firing it into the uh Mark. Let's case. just go ahead and say allegedly I was allegedly, never convicted okay. in the court of law. Well, I, I think <laughs> that we I have it on situation. I think we have it on uh we have it on, re on record here, so it can't be allegedly. I mean technically he wasn't on video though. So, fair enough, you know fair enough, fair but enough. It wasn't to, be, to be fair, though, this is not the worst Taco Tuesday we've ever dealt with. No, no, but no way. Yeah, yeah, it, it, well, in a while, it's been, been pretty rough, though. So <laughs> It's fair to say mistakes were made. That's all. <laughs> so at these you guys' positions, near the gantry door on the, on the other side of the room from where... Uh, where John, where uh, Jack, uh, Katya, and uh, Bishop are, it's that's where uh, Corey's character Nelson and uh, Cheap Date are, along with uh, the, the Green Bean and some forces from this uh, town that you guys have encountered. So they're they're basically you guys are in opposite places, okay? I, I will say this. Huge football it is, field the long uh, room. Okay, so, and then you got a whole bunch, 40 cultists be having the, the, the life drained out of them through some type of energy exchange. And okay. that's where we, don't we have left to you guys. The I, okay. con I consulted my God. They're made out of flesh. They don't matter. They're oh, not people God. like you and me. So... There, and so so there's so there's an escape door, and that's what I'm gonna call it because that's what it is. Uh, oh, the now Katya, you call it now you leave right. the escape Katya door. Katya is you near the door the last time. Look, and Katya is near, and she is uh I don't know if she's gonna try I think she tried to kick it before. <laughs> that she didn't did. work well. Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So now I'm gonna give all you guys initiative. Uh, uh, so Katya, so Katya, there are two, there's still two murder rape, uh, juicer, uh, 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 level guys that are cult leaders that are near you. There's one guy who isn't dead on the other side of this Faraday cage that's near, 
uh, Jack and Bishop. All right, one guy he you guys have been killing people off left and right, but you guys still didn't get this guy. And Bishop is near the terminal that controls this whole thing. Do okay? we need him near the terminal? Well, he's just there. He's a hacker. He hacks stuff. You know, he's well, I mean, like, is he doing, is he actively doing? No, something? he's not doing anything. He's like, wondering, he's, he's, he's looking like the rest of you, wondering how shit just went south. Hey, don't talk to me. Don't talk like I'm not in the room. I'm right here. I can hear you. <laughs> so you guys have initiative. That's the situation. What are you guys going to do? Matter of fact, roll for initiative between the six. <laughs> Way ahead of you. Already rolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be doing anything this turn, guys. Sorry. 13. 13, yeah. 13. Okay, 13. <laughs> Gently just close. My How about you, Joe? 16. Okay, there's Joe. How about you, Corey? <clears throat> Sorry, I had Initi to pull up. Initiative was a 20, right? Yeah, you can roll with 20 for initiative. I don't mind you rolling 10s or 20. Don't make me no difference. I oh, you. sorry. Uh, is it 10? <laughs> it could be a 10. What'd you roll, Joe? You add it you add your initiative I, I rolled a 20. Okay, if you got a 20, that's what we're rolling, 20. Okay. 20, okay. Uh, sorry, I was waiting a sec to see what the rules were now. Um, <laughs> roller, roller. Because we got house oh, rules for the most part. Some of our stuff is oh, house rules. So. Oh, hell, yeah. if, if, we, if we do a D20, then fuck it. <laughs> roll it again. Yeah. Roll it I'll again. Okay, maybe I should have gone with a 10 again. then. Okay, you got a 10. No, no, no. I said I should have gone with the 10, but uh, I got a 16. Okay, so you tied. I, I, got, I got 16 as well. Okay, and John? No, I, I had 13. Oh, you got 13? Okay. Yeah, I had 13. Yeah. I also had 13. Okay, so here's the gear goes. The three you got 16, roll again. All right. I got to get it going. Gotta, I have to keep it seven. tough. Keep it tight. You got a seven? 16. 16. Uh, 10. Okay, so <laughs> you guys who got 13 roll again. I am I am At more eight. concerned every time he has to we have to re-roll. Yeah. You guys That's are fine. This is fine. What'd you get? Uh uh yes. Eight. Okay, what'd you get? Uh one? John, you got a one? Oh well, oh, John's last. Dick no. <laughs> first, John's last. So, all right, so John, okay, so Nick first, then uh, <laughs> then I think it's Corey, right? Or is it the Chuck? I got, I, I got a 10, I got a 10, so. Seven. Okay, so, so Nick first, three. Joe, Corey, oh, man, anyway. Jess, and then John. Okay, so what are you going to do, Nick? <coughs> it's going, going to pot all around you. Well, I know the, the damn cage is broken down, and uh, full credit to John for pitching that chainsaw on the eve of the Super Bowl and just screwing that cage allegedly. up. Allegedly. No, there's no allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly my ass. So <laughs> we need to get out of here. Koch has got uh, the engineer, so we're we're good. I want you to roll roll your computer. Uh, you, you, what's your computer skill? What, what, what number is it? Uh, 46. Roll, roll, roll against your computer skill. You're on the other side of the room, though, uh, John. Yeah, it's two d ten, and you want to roll under. Right. Roll. I, I mean, I got a d. I got a d hundred. Yeah, That's, this is. Yeah, it's a one. So roll against your computer skill. Forty three percent. Forty percent or less, you got it. Sixty two. It's gonna be one of those nights, fellas. <laughs> this round, you're fucked. Uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just. Everything looks like gibberish on that screen. Oh, <laughs> so I should no. take it C plus plus. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Joe. What are you gonna do? You got one guy near you. He's still kicking, well, and, he's heading, and, and, he, and he's and he's and he's heading toward Bishop. He has a a, a big. He has a, a, a he, he pulled out some sort of uh. Hmm. It looks almost like a lightsaber, and he's going after Bishop. Well, um, I was actually, if I remember my actions correctly, I was headed my way towards Bishop anyway, so I will attack uh, and head in towards Bishop. I swear I'll down. get that door open. I swear I'll get that door open. Just cover okay. me. <laughs> You're going to try to strike him down, huh? Yep. All right. Let's go so ahead. Be careful, Joe. Please. If you strike him down, he will become more powerful than you can imagine. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's all right. Jack, Jack, just, just take, Matil take Matilda for a walk. 
<laughs> I think all if right. you strike them down, the world will keep going. <laughs> That's about all Wait, I can say. You just become a ghost? All right, so roll, 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 a 20, roll a 20, Joe. All right, yeah, roll that 20 uh, there, Jack. Ooh, 19. Guess what he got, Joe? To die. Guess what he got to pair? 19. <laughs> Wait, does, does the tie go to the defender? For pairing, yes. He parried it. it. God damn. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just started good. Man, he's seen all that damage you did. He said, I'm not taking no chance with this dude. He's crazy. <laughs> all right. Wait, he parried Matilda? Yeah, he parried yeah. Matilda. Crazy shit. Well, um, I'm, I'm gonna try to attack again. I got, I still got two more attacks. Yeah, but we all, we going, we go round and round okay. now. So, okay. oh damn! All, all right. right, Corey, what do you got? What are you gonna do? You're pretty far away, man. You can't subtract. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You are gonna try to yeah, fix it? by the elevator. Game? So we're still on ley line off? energy, right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you got this whole thing's on a big freaking ley line. This is this is risk. You're doing well. You got a yeah, lot of so, so and then yeah. Uh, does, do you guys have that map actually? That's a good idea. I'm pretty I know, nobody safe. listens to me though. Sorry, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if we go with conscious, if I remember conscious plan, it was take me and let's peace out and leave everybody. Yeah, else conscious is, the, is ready to peace out. Make no mistake. <laughs> you sugar day. I mean, I our job was to save that person. Katya was doing that. Our, our job, not your job. Our means we all go. <laughs> all right, so this is but what if I get her like. out of there, you don't have to worry about trying to protect her. This is what we're looking like right here. Me, I want to live. <laughs> I want to live. All right, here's our map, okay? <sighs> you Sorry. guys, I'll put you guys, I'll what? put, uh, <laughs> so I'll put, I will put John and Corey John and Corey are here. I will put you guys in. I don't want the eraser, dang it. I want the thing. So, <laughs> are you sure you here. Want the eraser, John, and Corey are, John and Corey are like over here, right? Joe and, uh, and you guys are over here, and Katja is here trying to figure out what to do with that door. <laughs> oh, I thought, she, I thought she was over by me because she. No, uh, Katja's not over by me. She's on the other side of the room. Yeah. Oh, okay. She was on the other side of the. And uh, here's the, of the cage right game. here. <laughs> Nothing precludes you from casting spells, Corey. Okay, so I think sorry, I was getting a little observant of the map. I just kind of want to like try something weird, actually. What, right, what are you going to try? Uh -oh. uh, so I have a spell called Charismatic Aura. Okay. I kind of want to scream to the enemies, but like I, I, I'm trying to figure out how big of a bonus I'm going to get from this. But yeah, I kind of want to try and distract everyone from a turn with my distance. Mm. Okay, go ahead and do it. Um, think of a good one. Think of a good one. Uh, so it will, that's a question. Can I cast a spell and then shout a statement? You can do it the same time. Yeah, you can do it. All right. So. All in sixty feet to trust fear to see for okay yeah so <clears throat> I'm gonna try and cast charismatic aura then and I'm gonna try and shout a deception I'm gonna say hey look at that distraction way over there what what distraction is that <laughs> I'm just gonna point in a section of the room I'm just literally gonna say you gotta uh, say something that ain't gonna do it ain't gonna work you gotta say what? something what the hell is that or something you know okay Nelson, 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 Nelson that's good which, enough which, that's good which enough which corner of the room did you point to because we're on the opposite side of the room I'm pointing away I'm I'm trying to get everyone to divert their attention away from you guys maybe try and but uh, I'm over on the other side of the room I need the map again then <laughs> so I can make sure but you I know, know what I'm that's pointing. okay because I, I get what you're trying to do and point to your left. you and actually you do it I wonder what you do oh, cool all of the the everybody everybody including the people who are having their life sucked out of them look in that corner of the room that you guys aren't in. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um and that I gave you a 50 50 chance and you got under 50, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so that kind of like uses up my nice, like nice. useful part of my turn. Okay. Uh so all right, so yeah. so now they're yeah. distracted, Jess. What are you gonna do? No one's uh, looking at you. What are you going to do? 
You got that door, Jess. You got to get it open. Okay. Can I? How do I? Uh, I well, I can't hit it. Obviously. <laughs> you can't hit it with can your I foot. Fire it? You got all sorts of shit. Yes. You're just gonna use your bow. Sure. Why okay. use a bow? You have mine bullets. <laughs> yeah, but that, my mine bullets ain't as tough as that bow. That's for damn sure. But mine bullets. That's okay. I'm just, mine bullets. I'm so, just concerned that when Nelson said, "Hey, everybody, look at Ian," I'm going, "Huh? What?" <laughs> that bow is at close range. You know what, Jeff? I will give you. Uh, I will give you a plus five with that bow. Close so range. Okay. What do I, I roll? Roll to twenty. D twenty. You can't miss another word. Oh, okay. Uh, fifteen plus five. You blow that door off the hinges. You blast that door wide open. And what do you see? When you want to know what you see when you open that door? You see bodies hanging on meat hooks. Probably 40. Not again. Oh, that's Is cool. there another door? Is there another oh, no. Door? There's a, there's a, look, there's another door on the other side. But that's what you that's what you see. You see them. And again, they're alive. They're hooked into... Uh, basically, you see... Uh, 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 their blood being taken out with some machine, and then being uh, then you also see them being pumped full of some type of liquid. Oh, uh, oh, damn! Are okay. they dead? No, they're not dead. Oh, they're alive. If I can so smell you and have hear to them. Save them. Do you want to save me? I ain't got to do anything. Shoot, you trying to survive? You see it doing something? You so conflicted, took, Koch. I already took my turn. So okay. it's not my turn anymore. <laughs> right. I so, opened the door. Right. So, Chief Date, what are you doing? Well, seeing that Corey's trying to just be like like Jurassic Park himself, like, hey, over here, I'm <laughs> immediately just going to like thunderclap my hands <laughs> together to try to draw as much attention to me as possible. They're also, not looking at you guys. They're looking on the other side of the room. Yeah, That's they're looking away this. from all... Wait, why? <laughs> they're doing? looking. They're already distracted, John. God damn it, Chief Date. <laughs> don't do that, Chief Date. Okay. Oh, well, trying to I take Kacha's job. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, I'm just going to stand next to Corey so he doesn't die. You know, then... you know you have you you know you have uh the weapons. You know you can shoot shit and do whatever. There's still people... Wait, somebody still trying to kill bad. me with a lightsaber? Yes. Okay, I'm going to use my telemechanics to disassemble that thing in his hand. Okay, fair enough. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, don't don't go bloom. That's the opposite. What you just did is the opposite go bloom. Bless you. <laughs> okay. Well, why is gold I mean, blooming so bad? Hang on. I'll bless you if you are if you're successful. Okay. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> give, 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 actually, give me a percentile on that. I know you should be able to do it automatically, but give me a percentile on that. I want to see. <laughs> Nine. And Nine I have a 96, percent? so. Okay. You disassemble it, but for some reason, you get a psychic feedback that knocks you on your ass. Mm. But you I mean, do succeed in what you tried to do. The thing just. Goes comes apart in the guy's hand. The reason you got a psychic feedback was because it was a that weapon is a uh it, it, it's a, a technomancy weapon. And as soon as I realize that one single tear comes out of Chief no, Day's no. eye, it's a bloody tear too. <laughs> Not gonna lie, part of me is like shit. I kind of wish I could have seen more of that later. <laughs> Joe, we'll just like Jedi that shit and we'll like assemble it with our minds. We'll like both look at it really hard and just telemechanics the fuck out of it. Sure, you, you, got, you can you can rebuild it with telemechanics. You can even you if you can get it, you can rebuild it. Put it in because, your because, because Nelson and CD were clutch, do we get to re-roll initiative? Because the bad guys don't have a turn, right? No, again, look, they get to respond now. Oh mm. damn. Oh damn. Right, but we're, don't we have three actions per turn? So yeah, but see the thing well, is this what happens is we go around more, and then they lose you that, have right, more so than three. they only got two actions per turn, right? So as we go around, you guys still have action left when they won't. Okay. I thought they were just all looking at uh where Corey is pointing, uh, where Nelson uh, Right, they Nelson's are looking at it, so they're looking, so they're mm -hmm. distracted. 
You right. get what I'm saying? But they still get a turn. They still get the gotcha. Right. Okay. They use one of their turns. Matter of fact, no. I'll tell you this. This is what we're gonna do. You guys get a free action because of that. So go ahead and 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 do whatever it is you're gonna do. Same. Uh, we got we got the same cube rotation. So what are you gonna do? Uh, imagine those Pete. Well, now that Koch blew the door open, because <laughs> I was kind of hoping that we needed an exit strategy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get a schematic, like a map this place out. So, can All I right. roll? So can I access the map to see where we're going? Roll, what, roll <laughs> your roll your computer operator operation. All right here we go. I got a ten. Okay. <clears throat> well, what you realize is that you have to do something about this uh, overload before it will let you get to the screen, the schematic screen. Mm. So what's overloading? The, the Freddy cage. Where your god is. Oh, so shit. I need to, I need to find a way to turn. stabilize it. Right. So We don't need right. to. We got it, this. Oh, so, so then I'm, I'm going to roll. I'm going to try and stabilize. I'm going to try and see if I can just at least delay it while we get the hell out of here. Stabilize so I can bring up the screen because we're going to need a map to get out of here. Right. So, all right. So, who's Jeff and Joe? Go ahead and you're next, right? Oh, yep. <clears throat> what are you going to uh, do? I'm still attacking the one going after uh, going after okay. Bishop. Go ahead and roll it. All right. Okay, so we got a fourteen. To the abyss. You got fourteen. Mm -hmm. All right, good. You 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 you. Hey, what do you use, Matilda? Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, let me see something right quick. <clears throat> uh, just a second. All right, roll damage. All right. Yeah, this is a prolonged date with Matilda. Don't 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 send her away. <laughs> oh no, we we got undead. She she stays out for prolonged engagements. Okay. Uh, let's see. Fuck. 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Nelson, may I recommend that you grab cheap date and follow us? Maybe. So what'd you get, Joe, on damage? 480 damage. That motherfucker done. He's done, and there's 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 weird juicery liquid uh, all over the place. It's a big splash. Oh man, that's the back of my shirt, man. Forty eight, dude. 48. You're covered in that shit. You're covered in it, and and cheap, and 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 also, uh, yeah, Bishop, you're covered in it too. <laughs> Bishop, you don't have time my, to be repulsed. I'll tell you, my, my shirt. Yeah, my shirt and my fro are okay because oh, I got drink. It stinks like shit, dude. Oh, it still smells though, but it won't stain, but it'll still smell. Oh, the pick of Kung Fu Kim. <laughs> that's right. So that's how that's how life goes. Okay. It holds no uh, funk but the funk that it came with. Right. Dude, when so you know Corey, when I'm on the computer and I just hear yes. Uh, Corey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna cast some spells? What are you gonna do, man? Are you guys gonna I, take that turn to try to get up there, get get to where uh to the escape door? Because you got two guys that are distracted for still. So you got Wait, to, where is that? Where is that? They're right near. They're right. Those two guys are right by you, Katya, but they're distracted by uh by. No, where where is the you. person? We're... Oh. All right. Yeah, here. that'll be helpful for me too. All right. You're you got all right. So here's where two you, you and Cheap they are, uh, uh, Nelson, and here's where Katya is. She just kicked that. She blew that door off the hinges, and behind that door, she sees all these. Right. Uh, where is the cross. person we're trying okay. to save? Right here. Okay, that right is what middle. I was You had that person already. Yeah, my Okay, so they're stuff? with you. Okay. I, I wasn't with you. sure. Yeah, they're, they're, they're with week. you. But you got two that. you got two distracted individuals sitting right here. I think like I could definitely like I don't know how many turns it would probably take two to get to the person we're trying to save at least. Only one a... you guys aren't that you guys are not aren't, aren't playing <clears throat> horses. Only one turn. Okay, yeah, because basically my idea so far is just to teleport to them and then... Okay, I'll uh, give you that. You and Chief Day can do that? You can teleport well, Chief Day too? I at least want to... Well, because what I want to do is I want to try and do that and put a ley line force field on them, protect them too for that turn. You uh, can do that from there. Where you're yeah. at. 
Oh, okay. Uh, so basically, you're going to put the ley line force field around Katya and uh, and this person because Katya has the person already. Yeah, that'd be perfect, actually. And then um, I can bring me and Sheep Date to them. Yeah. All right. So the thing that you can do, and then you, can, Bishop and Jack. you can do one <laughs> or the other. So, okay. All right. So gonna, you put the ley line force field around Katya yeah. and, uh, and Abby. Okay. Force cool. field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you go. You you don't have to roll anything for that. You got that. It's better than a Jurica. All right, so cheap date. What are you gonna do? So am I anywhere near that reactor thing? Nope. You're you're like right here. You can take a turn to get there though. Nelson, if you could just inch your way further onto the screen so that I can curse you properly when uh -huh. you abandon us. So I would like to <laughs> jump to the reactor, hug it. Uh, you can't. Like, you ain't, you legs can't, and feet. No, you ain't gonna be able to hug it. You can jump to it. Corey, you're not oh, even on camera. I got grip strength. <laughs> uh -huh. But you can jump to it. Yeah, go ahead. Oh yeah, and then I would like to touch it. And all right. So the thing that, bro, what's your physical strength? Uh, uh, forty-four. Forty-four. Yeah. Okay. Lord. All right. You can do it. You got. You got. Yeah. Damn it, you got giant strength. That, that'll work. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't get this bed started. <laughs> Corey, you just do it. It's that easy. Yeah. Right, so you go ahead, you so you jump, so you jump to that reactor and then wait, what? Are, are you gonna jump Better right next to the reactor? I would like to channel the energy to the access. Are, are you jumping right reactor? next to that reactor? Is what I'm asking. Yes. Okay. Chief Dave, what are you doing? I got this. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I look at Nelson, right. give him a wink and a thumbs up, and then <laughs> I suck up as much. John, do you know energy. what just happened? What? You're undead, right? Yeah. You... Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Basically, all of those people's life forces that that thing was sucking, now the life force is going into you. And you know what happens to an undead individual when people pump life force into that undead. Oh, yeah. So my skin's they get like weaker alive. and weaker and weaker. Weaker and... Let go. Oh, he's there now. So what <laughs> Let go. What do you guys oh, say? Hey, hey, he's stuck to the spot. <laughs> <laughs> he's Just like, oh... Loaded. Hey, dude, he looks like the he, he's looking like my man from uh, Late Raiders of Lost Ark when he looked at the when he looked at the uh, the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I've it, never. Don't seen worry, that. Nick. Just bury me, and I'll. No, get no, 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 no. It's a it's a small setback. <laughs> so you're right here now, Chief Date. <laughs> there's there's two bad guys right next to you. They don't matter. Yeah, they're still distracted, but they but not anymore. They're looking at you like, what the hell? You ever see a squirrel? But you know what did you know what you did, but you know what the look that they're giving you, you hear one say to the other one, I can't what what what's going what's going on? What's happening? I, I think he's disrupting the spell. So you're disrupting the spell, John. Good. Well, bless you, Chief. Corey, you're ringing. Bless you. Chief, Dave. Bless you. You're All welcome. Right, so. I'm right, dead, so, so what's the worst that could happen? I die? Well, yeah, well, we don't want you to die, man. Come on. But, <laughs> well, yeah, you just bury me in the ground. To, no, we don't want you to undie. <laughs> yeah. Bring me back to life. Kill me again. All right. So now, this Run. next round, these guys get to act. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. So. There's nobody but those two guys left. Okay? One of them cast a spell and he's trying to weaken that fourth field that uh that Nelson casts. Well, that's good. At least it's He breaks your fourth field, Nelson. Ah, oh, crap. That's and uh Pretty rude thing to do, actually. And the other guy, Why? he Why tries he to attack. Well, he and the other guy tries to attack Kachi. Let's see. Why? Go attack anybody else. 
Five months. I love our I love Five. our team chemistry. He leaps across the room at you. Now you guys can do your attacks, Katya. I mean, we got we ain't gotta go out. We could we can all right. So what are you what are you doing, Nick? This is your I think did you watch this? Is this your last attack? Yeah. Or, or whatever. What do you do? I mean, so I stabilized the the the, the cage, right? No, you're, you're going to try to stabilize, but now you can try to stabilize the cage. Wait, then what was my second turn? Your second turn, you found out that you need to stabilize. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to stabilize the cage. So I got to roll my computer, computer operation. It's, I, I got to make sure this thing. Works. Come on. I got a five. Oh yeah, you Roller. stabilized it. You did. You stabilized it. Plus you C plus plus. And then the schematic comes up. And and so it stops sucking life and, and shit from, from from those people and it stops uh giving life to cheap date. So cheap oh, date you you fought he need. And the rest of the people look at you like what the hell's going on? I can memorize the map. So where through the uh, room of no, you gotta, you, look here, you 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 can't see the map yet. Damn it. <laughs> right. Alright, this is Joe, your Simp Master Thirst King. Your scientists supreme. From the Honeycomb Hideout, the podcast for ponderous pop culture people. We're dropping new episodes every other Wednesday, covering topics from deep dives into anime classics to dishing over Hollywood drama. Now remember, this is an 18 and up podcast. So if you're not over 18, you will want to keep your tail at home. But for the rest of you, you can track us down over on Anchor, Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, and Radio Public. Hey, everybody, this is Irvin. And Nico, Shani Otaku. Here we don't just touch on manga, we emphasize and highlight creatives in audio manga. In our chill lounge, you'll see us cover live interviews with popular and infamous artists, writers, animators, cosplayers, voice actors, you name it. These industry talks reveal what OEO is about and what advice can be shared so those coming in can find a way to burn brightly. Check out Shining Spotlight now, available on Spotify, and you can still follow us on YouTube. Come join us. We'll catch y'all later. So what are you going to do? Uh, you got, mind you guys can't see Katya because that big that 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 Faraday cage yeah. is obscuring your vision. That's not my turn. No, but you can you can be a turn to me. I'm talking about these guys can't see. Oh, they oh they can't see me trying to escape. Right, they can't see you. All right. What is up with my? I basically I'm basically telling Jack Jack I got the cage stabilized. We got to get out of here. This ain't single to hold. Gotcha. Do you let them know that you got the door open? Boy, they heard the door open, so you don't need to let them know. Yeah, I heard yeah. boom. Yeah. <laughs> he heard them blow that shit off the off hinges. So run. Yeah. Okay. There it is. So what are you gonna do, Jack? Well, um, well, considering the uh well, is there anyone else currently in our nope, you only two guys, nope, everybody, all those guys are done. The only oh, two, two guys, guys are by back, Chief Dave and Kachi. Two guys over by Kachi, or at least one of them. Yeah, those two guys by Kachi. Okay. All right, then. Um, You're going to run well, over by Kachi? What are you going to do? Well, pretty much, yeah. You know, they've had the. If, I'm going to see what she how, found how, in how terms heavy, of an exit. How heavy is Chief Date? You're not Chief Date. You, 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 you got you got to vote Chief Date. No, no, but I'm just yeah. asking, how, how heavy are you? Uh, somewhere in the ballpark of 290 pounds. Fucking hell, you fat fuck. All right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was like, I wonder if I was going to try to... Never mind. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so, you, so you're going to take this, this turn running over to where Katya, right, Joe? Yeah, to check okay. out the paths you found. All right. So, Katya, now it's your turn. Okay. The guy is jumping towards you. What do you want? What do you... You got a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Got your bow in your hand. Yeah, but I'm, aren't I also carrying that person now? Okay, you can drop her and try the bow. She ain't gonna <laughs> kill you. 
<laughs> yeah, she's passed out. She's okay. Uh, she's still live with a concussion. Okay, I guess I'll shoot at him. All right, you're going to shoot at him. Go ahead and again. I'm giving you, he's jumping towards you, so you're going to get plus two. So roll a 20 side. You roll a 19. You roll a 19. <laughs> you hit this guy. You hit this fool. Mm. And then it knocks him back probably about 20 feet the other direction. Oh, nice. So he flies. So he lands pretty much in front of uh in front of Nelson. Smoking. <laughs> Very cinematic. Right. But he but he's still twitching. He's still he's not dead yet. Oh, that's so, good. What? That's oh, that's not a creepy. Well, you got a damage on you got a damage on the on the on on the, on the boat. We got damage for that. Yeah, yeah. Is it a D six D something plus ten or? I remember that boat being pretty powerful. It was three D something. Uh, uh, it says it fires two arrows per fire. Two D six times ten each. Okay, roll. Roll both of them. Two D six times ten for Ooh. both of them. Woo. You guys are big. I forgot you guys. Are, you guys got your big boy pants on. They don't Yo, look big. You got a machine gun bow. What? Is... God, that hurts. Gun bow. No, I, I know you're packing like that. Uh, do you want me to roll it twice? Yeah, yeah. roll. Actually, roll four. Roll it four. Okay. Well, the the first one I got, I rolled a ten. So ten times ten is a hundred. <laughs> Good lord. And the God second damn. one, it's an eight. So eighty. All right, so he's not Are dead, you? but he he, he's not dead, but he butchered yeah. he was. Well, if he ain't dead, he ain't happy. Yeah, he ain't happy at all. He, he, he he's moving real slow, trying to come back up to his feet. Now, Corey, he's moving up. He's trying to come to his feet in front of you. What are you gonna do? Um, you I think. Fist him. Well, no. <laughs> you call my. I mean, no. You mentioned it. Do. Um, he's trying to get up. I'm just gonna. Uh, you know, I'll just toss. No, that's only a minute and a half. I want to go ahead and put. We're trying to escape. We're trying to escape. Yes. What? <laughs> what? Bad I, things thought, happening. I thought we were trying to have some fun. Hold on. Oh dear God. <laughs> no. So I'm gonna go ahead and just actually. Uh, I want to thunder clap right next to his ear. Okay. <laughs> I just want God to be, keep him on the ground, just oppressive. You're going to blow that head off, aren't you? Go ahead. All right, so let's go ahead. I got to roll his. Let me see. Let me see. So I got to roll above or below. I can't remember. You don't have to roll anything. That's oh, okay. I just thunderclap it. He has it. to roll how he's going to have to, how he's going to respond to it. Uh, I got you. All right, so he has to roll a physical endurance. He got 18. So... What's the damage on that thunderclap? Do you remember? It is plus five, plus one. Uh doesn't quite. I see four plus five and uh plus one strike parry dodge caster horror. Sorry, I guess I'm not understanding my character sheet very well. That's, is it an offensive spell? It's an offensive spell, so. It will probably, I think it'll probably be two, no, I see three D six, I think. Yeah, okay. So roll that three D six. Initially, I thought he said I was going to thunder slap him. I was like, oh damn, thunder slap. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll make that spell. We can make that just, spell. We make it I, up. I was just trying to figure out a spell that would be good at just pushing him back down, and it was either <laughs> paralyze a limb or that, and I figured that will do a little more than just. Drop them, you know, but well, hell, you could have just put it next to the with year. electricity. All right, so what's yeah. number three? Uh, three D six. Right. So I got nine, nine on the three D six plus what? Yeah, so it's just three D six, right? So you got the, yeah. uh, no, I, I mean, got... so you got no. What I'm saying, so you wrote, you got nine. Okay, so that's gonna yeah. be so that's nine points of damage. That's enough to make him grab for his ears, so he's not getting up right now. Okay. All right, John, what are you going to do? You're free. What I'm going to do is A, Al, and am I fucked up enough 
that I like my are my joints intact? You're or fine now. Skeleton? You're fine now. Okay, then <laughs> it's an experience that you'll never forget, though. Uh, well, then a I just want to post up. Yeah, oh, in a bad way. Here. Definitely a bad way. Okay. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my mega damage shield and just like stand like a fucking little tiny dwarf tower in front of him. Like, <laughs> okay. And I want to hold it ready to action in case anybody tries to get him. I just go like, bah. Hold on. I'm lost. So, dwarf, you say, dwarf tower. Where, sounds where, like where you, so, basically, you're in front of that thing. You're in front of it and stabilized, right? That mm -hmm. cage, right? So, yeah. you saw the guy jump. Right back, Corey. Corey, uh, uh, straighten up. Corey basically, uh, uh, deafened the guy. And there's another guy you can actually see this by Katya, right? He just cast a spell and broke Corey's uh, force field. Mm -hmm. So you can throw the shield at him, you can shoot at him, do whatever you want to. The guy, oh, uh, from behind the shield, I point my wrist at him and fire a micro missile. At him. Okay, go ahead, go ahead and do that. Wait, he wait, did you say missile. You Look, you oh, yeah, I have a missile launcher at my hip, and the oh, armor really? I'm wearing has a micro missile launcher and comes with a particle cannon on the back. Really? Okay, go ahead, do it. Gotcha. Da, da, da. So that's gonna be a twenty. Chief, dude, you're the type of guy that fires a boom cannon in an enclosed space without e earmuffs. Not because yes, he's about action. He's a man of action. Back. You understand? Twelve. Oh dear God! All right, so what's the damage on that mini missile, sir? One D or one D ten times a hundred or one D ten times ten. Sorry. Yeah, you go ahead and roll that damage, sir. Okay. Uh, damn. Uh, uh, so a hundred. A hundred. Yeah, son. Fair enough. Just, I gotta roll. Me. This. I gotta roll me some. Is this not? not this just just like all right. So all you guys know that fair day cage that you just spent all that time. Uh. Uh, uh, stabilizing. Yes, it ain't stable anymore. No. <laughs> what in me? <laughs> fair. No, there's no Faraday cage here. We're fine. It's starting to suck life force out of out of, out of the, 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 the. A lot of things in this room just sucking stuff up. It's <laughs> 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 a lot of suckage right now. Yes. Right. So you guys, let's <laughs> go ahead and roll initiative again. Yeah. I, I like that. I, 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 I like. I like that. Cheap date recovers, and the first thing he does is like, oh, "Missile time!" <laughs> right. I'm awake. I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to think that Cheap Date is failing to understand the context of the situation we're currently in. Context. I rolled the twenty. I mean, okay. after I added stuff. All right, funny. fair enough. You beat that guy. If you guys can't beat this dude, you guys suck. Thirteen. <laughs> Oh, right, you beat him. Okay. What'd you yeah. get, uh, 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 Nick? 15. You beat him. Corey, what'd you get for your initiative? 11. You beat him. <laughs> John, how about you? I got... <sighs> you what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, you don't beat the guy. Shit. You don't beat what the guy. So, all That's eyes it. on this one guy. Okay? All eyes on him. Now, Katya. Yes? Who, who here, uh, uh, who in here can sense magic? Everybody but me. I want you and Katya. No, I can't sense it either. I want you and Katya to roll a sense magic. Everyone that can, I assume, yeah. Yep. Uh, D20. Oh, nat 20. <laughs> hey, Jack. It's like, oh. I'm going to oh, nat 20, all John? These John, you, see, you can oh. sense magic too, right, John? Oh, shit. Okay. Nat 20. <laughs> all That's of you sense teleportation magic. The fuck is that shit doing around me? And it's not me. And Katya, Ooh. you get a plus on whatever it is because it's it, it's forming around, it's forming a, a, a by you. But Katya, God fucking damn it! Can a I? Plus of what? Like, what do you mean I get a plus? 
You get a plus, so bro. All right, so you all right, so we got a percentage on on uh detect magic, right? Yeah. Right. So oh, whatever wait, you, get, you get a plus, you get a plus to that percentage. So give them maybe yeah. like because they're close to you, so make it plus twenty percent. You also get a oh, plus to the amount of fuck you are. They're trying to teleport Abby. Is there anything I can do to interject and like yank Katcha and just be like, nah. Deny. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, you can yank Katcha. Hmm? Hmm? Well, not like not quite like that. That, that could be this. There's a lot of uh, you know play in those semantics. Uh, I more mean bring Katcha safely over to my location from where she previously was. I, I rolled a, I rolled a thirty-seven. Okay, my, so whatever. Yeah. You it. feel it distinctly. You actually feel the pull of it, like they're trying to teleport you too. Uh. Can I run away from that area? Yes, you can. I'm gonna do that, carrying the person. You gotta pick her up first. And you oh, remember you dropped go. her. You dropped her. That's an action. All right, bitch. I'm going to pick her up. And so you're gonna pick her up. You can't run. You can't. You can't jet. Pick her up at the same time. What if I like dive and grab her and we roll away? <laughs> but then you'd be diving away from the door. Yeah, that could be kind Hello. of. Rough. Want to give it a hand? Hey. use like a fishing hook and pull her towards me? Roll a 20. Oh boy. And what am I, am I adding something to nope, it? Nope, you're not adding anything. Roll a 20. I, ro I got a 16. Okay, 16. You, 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 you jump. Right? And you grab her, right? Grab Abby, right. And you guys tumble a bit. Okay. Okay. What you find out, what you if now if you take a look, you'll find that you didn't teleport. You she didn't get a chance to teleport her fully, but her left arm is gone. <laughs> He's bleeding everywhere. <laughs> This is a bad time for us to not have a healer. Can I tie it off? <laughs> well, that you got to. I have that. Yeah, but you got to wait till your next turn. Uh, Jack, Jack, do you have a side sword? And that ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna cauterize it. I know what you're thinking. It ain't gonna oh, work. Oh, it's not gonna cauterize the wound. Damn right. Side so. side sword is pure energy, no heat. Pure energy, no heat. <laughs> It's an infomercial for Wait. energy saving. I think uh, I'm gonna be in trouble for doing this. Okay, so I had to let I had to let you because he was attacking you. I had to let you go out of turn there for to save this chick. So that was cool. That's all right. So all right, Bishop, what are you going to do? Well, I I see what happens, and I see our. Uh, Abby's bleeding out. She, she, she jumped out of the way, so she's near you, Bishop, now. And the, chick, and the woman is bleeding out. She's bleeding out. You're going to go uh, fly first aid? What are you going to do? Yeah, I got a, I got a I, geo front med, med pack. It's, also, what, what's your first aid skill? Uh, my first aid is, it's pretty high. It's actually, let me see. Uh, I just had it right here. Uh, worst case scenario, I have paramedics, so I can all do right, something good. on my turn if needed to. I think I heard you got to quit all you motherfucker. <laughs> I got I got a it's it's 74. All right, go ahead and, oh, nice. and, 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 and go ahead and uh, try to and roll or get that uh skill. Oh gee, 100. You guys ain't dead after all. <laughs> I got an idea. I, mean... I want to see this. I want to hear this idea, Corey. <laughs> I think I do anyway. I got a 29. All right, so. You 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 will perform triage, you stabilize this woman. Yeah, it's it's the geofront thing. It uh it it's like it, it's meant for stemming bleeding. I think like the, the Phoenix Elite Phoenix Division people. Okay. They have like so, uh, Phoenix. Yo, I have you it. made your way over to where around over around there yet? Or did you cause you spent that turn going over there, right? Yeah, yeah. I spent All right, so now you're face there. to face with this dude. Okay, the one that was um the one that was in their general vicinity? That's right. Yeah. Face to face with the one who I got a rocket up his ass. 
Mm -hmm. Um, did he survive the rocket? Oh no, he didn't get the he, he no 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 that rocket didn't get him. Okay, well I'm gonna get him then. All right, so you gonna roll? We're gonna roll that thing there. Uh huh. Well, what a time to get this. Um, Nat twenty. Nat twenty. You Nat broke 20. his. You broke his force field. Mm. And, that, and uh, that's what you did. Mm. Uh, but nothing else, huh? Nope, nothing else. You but see, that, fall down. Okay. You see, you broke his force field. All right, you knock him down. You you basically knock him prone. Okay. You need to run. I'll take it. Okay, so Corey, what are you gonna do? Um. So I. Is if I uh, how the many people dude, can I the, teleport the one, dude, in a the one dude is getting up in front of you too well how many people can I teleport at a time well you're on a ley line so you can teleport everybody if you want to remember Nelson you once teleported a group of nine people and sent us to 1980 something you can teleport you can teleport everybody if you want to and one of these locations pre-programmed into this device gets us okay. back to where we're safe or mm. oh yeah go ahead and, 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 and click it I mean, Wait. yeah, I mean, I don't I, like, yeah, I mean, because we're a little still kind of, I don't know. Hmm. Nelson, Nelson, you can teleport to places that you've seen. You came down the elevator shaft. Just get us outside the bunker. That's all. Nelson. All right. Well, yeah. he got that device. He can go to places that he's programmed in there, too. All right. I want to try, I don't really know the specifics of the locations I went to, but I want to try and choose something safe. You want to go back to, 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 to the bar? Yeah, let's go to the bar. Wait, which bar? Yours, son. Karaoke bar? <laughs> oh, sweet Christ. <laughs> I don't have to pay for damages. All right, let's go. Okay. Bishop's got it covered. He's got oh, it. Go ahead. So go ahead and roll a percentile, and you get a plus. You get a you get a plus twenty five since you already been there. Uh, why is so there, why isn't there be, alcohol in this? It'd be ninety nine with the uh, twenty. You got ninety nine. Yeah. You teleport all of you guys back to the bar. Hmm. Now yeah, so we're going we're to emerge in your room because that's the way. No, no, no. You guys emerge in the main in, in your office. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, guess what? I brought Jesus. No, Abby. Who, oh. Abby? Motherfucker! <laughs> I was holding her. Yeah, well, he just teleported you guys. He teleported her. I was and trying he to. Look, he could have teleported if they wanted to, because at the end of the day, that device she had on, remember I told you she had a device on her head? Yes. That I took off? Yeah, you didn't take that device off. Yeah, I did. Did That's you? And that device, look, no, that device was was drilled into her brain. You might have got some of it off, but you didn't get what was in her brain out of there. I well, you she. That's what I was saving her from in the first battle. Oh like, yeah, you I got it. Look, yeah, you got it off of there. Yeah, but again, it's all right. So basically, you got like mom technology, right? It's like mind over matter technology. They call it. So they drilled the thing into her brain. So there's outside casing, there's inside casing. There's still rods in her head. Okay. And that's why you guys couldn't teleport out of it. And the thing, if it was regular mom technology, you guys could have done it. But everything they do is basically uh, techno wizardry. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Nelson? You guys can go back. back. I, well, <laughs> I guess we'll bring an elite team. You guys can go phase. back. You guys can go back right now. We need to go yeah. back. Let's go back. Look, I'm a busy Nelson. guy. Nelson. No, just... Nelson. All right. Uh, Nelson. Back. I will cut your face. This I'm is gonna, the worst right. prank, dude. I'm going to not a, I'm gonna not a grab a prank. fifth from the bar and then I'm going to go back. Okay, so you guys go back, I, right? Yeah. <laughs> Took the yeah. good shit. Yes. You guys go back. And that okay. guy is gone. Oh, well, I go back you know to the bar. Gone? Abby. The Faraday cage. And Abby is gone. So well, you just see a room of coaches just looking at each other like, what the hell? What's going on? Right? 
can I ask a question? What's that? Where the hell was the backup? The, the people that came with Cheap Date and uh, and Nelson? Wasn't there a crew of, of locals that came down there? Yeah, you had a crew of locals, but you guys were doing so well. They're like, well, these were the big guy. Those useless, they, they saw what happened. Couldn't they have just gone there and picked up the woman that they were? No. Was <laughs> it so much to no. ask for the locals to do this? Okay, so when you guys get there, the green bean comes up and hugs Bishop and apologizes for being such a pain in the ass. Wait, are we back in the room? Yes, you guys, everybody... back, you guys are back in. You guys are back at the the the, the uh, back at the uh at the bunker. You know what, Bishop? You're going to church. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't actually. She hugs you guys and she thank <laughs> she thanks you guys. And the thing is. She picks up, but she she's also a hacker, so she starts basically. She's getting a whole lot of information from that terminal. Did she see everything that happened before? Yeah, we she teleported it all. And so she was at the terminal when you guys came back. So now she understands what they're trying to do. Her aunt's missing an arm. Yeah, well, again, that's okay. You 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 stabilize her though. She's cool. That's right. Okay. And she de definitely thanks you for that. But she got valuable information. So, Please. so, so, so Abby is in their custody. Yes. No. Oh. No, no. Abby is in their custody. Abby's no, gone. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Abby's, Abby's gone, dude. That's what so I'm saying. So basically, this is what's going on as far as she can tell. Okay. They're trying to create some type of battery. Okay. No shit. And they ca they captured this god because they, they kept not a god, this demon. Because at the end of the day, the demon is the, 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 the demon is a hedonist. And so they lured him in there and captured him, right? Makes sense. And they found you find some plans for a mech suit. Okay. Oh, Iron what? Man. A mech, mech suit. Power mech armor type. Power armor. Sorry, I, I, I heard yeah, for Mexican, power armor. and I was yeah. very confused. And what's <laughs> happening is that this power armor, they're basically going to cut the demon up and use his parts to build this power armor. I mean, standard demonology shit. It ain't yeah. going. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't going to be pretty, buddy. So I mean, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? And you find out everything. later on that that was Abby's uh, area of expertise: power armor. Right, but power armor. Enhancement because this is not just standard power armor stuff. If she knows how to incorporate, oh, there's some next stuff. Oh, damn you. You remember when we talked about some of the remember earlier we talked the about footage. Some of the, yeah, some of the 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 fuck ups that uh Northern Gun had done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. She was there, she was there and doing research doing some of the fuck ups. The plot thickens. Uh... Yeah. By the way, did did you just say that uh Green Bean hugged me? Yes, she hugged you. And she apologized to all you guys for, 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 for not being professional. She says it'll never happen again. Well, yeah, because she's gone. Well, no, Green uh, Bean's still there, but she's saying that she's not going to let her emotions get in the way. She understands. She learned from you guys to not let her emotions get in the way. Oh. Wow. Yeah. All we yeah. were... She learned this while we weren't near her? Like, Well, she just was observing you guys, watching through the whole thing. Are you guys, you know, you guys took care of business, no matter what. I mean, we are being paid to do it. That's okay, but that's all, but that's what a professional does. Just let me have this moment, Katya, you jealous whore. Black <laughs> Tuka. What the whoa? And guess what? She's also found out. She also has a list of all of their bases, all of their little hidey holes. Oh, she knows where their families live. Right. So it's, like, <laughs> it's about hey, Kaiser so it's, it's about six hidey holes, but one of them doesn't have any coordinates. She can't get any coordinates on them. About six of them, from here to, and they're all here in Michigan, mind you. This is a poor place to fucking. I mm. forgot we were in Michigan. Yeah, you guys are in Michigan. The Straits of Mac. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. The streets of Macadamia Island. So you guys, right. uh, we're, we're oh, still on the job, Matthew? right? 
So so the oh the sheriff comes to you guys and suggests that you guys uh set up shop in that town as your base for now. And then you guys try to kind of figure out what your next move is gonna be. And they said they're gonna give you all the resources you need. Did some of these out of those 40 cultists that were having the life drain from did some of them survive? Actually, yeah, a bunch of them survive, and you find out. Actually, you know what, Katya? You hey, what's and, that room? Katya, I want you and uh Nelson to roll uh to roll the sense magic. Is that a 20 or a roll a percentile? percentile. It should be a percentile. percentile. 65. There's also that. What your what your sense magic at, uh, Nelson? Um, sorry, yeah, I, I, I just rolled okay. it out. You know what? I, this is mundane. I'll give it to you guys. Okay. <laughs> you guys get close to one of the cultists, and the cultist starts to wrench. Oh, oh, come on! And one the, does it; they're all going to do one it. One of I'm them start, and he vomits out a cybernetic looking uh centipede oh what the dude is it moving no it's dead no that's a bloody well, jack well jack there's only two ways it's coming out the front or the back right right yeah typically so who, uh, who chief date this? chief date is automatically curious oh yeah my ears have been hurt since I heard power armor. So when you see that cheap date, what are you going to do? Because you can handle it. Dude, oh, yeah. The, the, I'm going to like take it apart out of in air, all Jedi style. And you just take it apart. And guess what, cheap date? You see that it is actually, again, something. It's actually a magical uh, centipede that's been augmented with technomancy. Should not be possible. I should not be able to do that. What is this? Sick? Techno wizardry. They should not be able to do it. Uh, Cheap dates quiet. Is this good yeah, or bad? Guys, this was made by a techno wizard. And from what I learned at my uh, well taught community college degree, uh, that shouldn't be able to be happening. Community college degree. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot well, of shit uh, that shouldn't be possible, quite frankly. A lot more than I'm comfortable with. And the green bean comes to you, uh comes to you, Chief Day, and asks you, what do you mean it shouldn't be able to be done? I I, I don't know much about magic, but could so you technomancy is like the study of doing magic with tech, and it oh. never looks like tech. Because we can't really incorporate it in tech and have it still be tech. It just um, it, it just becomes techno wizardry once you make it magic. Right. They all sit up and look like they're in the class, like, oh, oh okay. I know. Wow. I know. Gee, I, you know what? I hate to, I, I miss CD some uh, his professorial days. So you guys uh basically you find you so any of you guys wanna uh take these cultists back and do a little research on these guys? Yes, me. All right, so Chief Day, you find out that every one of them has this uh, parasite in them. And, and some of them are retching them up, and some of the parasites you guys are going to have to take out of these people. Hey, guys, most of these guys had this robot centipede thing in their fucking dome. Uh, that's fucking creepy and tells me that they're yes. probably mind-controlled. So, you're right. So, they are unwitting pawns. They didn't really have much to do with this. Thing on their own, just more enthralled, really. Right, okay. but you find out that they're but the smartest <clears throat> four dudes, including and Parcel Abbey, they're missing. Ah, uh, what about the room where that uh, Koch blew the door open? There was all that. Uh, are you guys to go and investigate? Okay, now Chief, Chief Day, you are going in there to investigate with them in that room, right? Yes. What all right? So what you deduce, and this is for free because you're a smart dude. What you deduce is that they were trying to turn those dudes into juicers. Oh, shit. whoa! Hmm. But it wasn't any juicer technology that you yourself was privy to. So you're figuring that they were trying to turn these guys into murder race, undead juicers. 
But the type that I'm... stole my gun? Yeah, buddy. They 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 ten times worse than regular you, sir. Yep. Oh, goody. Now I want you to roll what give me some of your skills, Joe. Tell me some of your skills. Uh, let's see. Um, well, uh, uh, you know, skills pertaining to this type of shit. Um, uh, let's see. I have cybernet. I have cybernetics. Um, uh, let's see. Cybernetics. Cy That's good enough. Oh, All right. Okay. So, let me ask you a question. There's another door there. You guys gonna try to open it? Might as well. Uh, you can hack it, uh, 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 yeah, Nick. You can hack it. You can hack the door. All right, I'm, I'll I'll roll to roll your computer. Nineteen. So you open the door, right? You see more dudes. Mm. God damn! How big is this facility? Right now, I want you, Joe, to roll your uh your your cybernetic skill. All right. So... Hey, Koch. Well, it's a cybernetics it, at a sixty-seven. Is it weird that she hugged me? Mm -hmm. That's a that's a weird, percentile, right? That's what right? I thought yeah. So okay. Uh, okay, that's a. Maybe she's possessed. <laughs> What'd you get, Joe? Uh, that's a fifty. You look at this stuff, and it, 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 be honest, with you, Joe, you're terrified. I was covered in that green shit too, from the guy that Jackie. Oh, you're fine. Person. You're cleaned Whoa. up from there. Joe, a you guy, see, a guy what, did what to you? What you What's see, Joe? Mm. Nick, I want you. Pizza. You see these guys that look awfully a lot like the dude you fought, but you also see a cybernetic enhancement on these guys. They're dead. Mm. Cheap date. You notice it too. You're like, what the fuck, Jack? Uh, see, yeah, you guys are off the quiet. This the, is uh, some utterly morbid shit. This is he looks cybernetic. At it with, they're like five a, guys, and they're sitting on. They're sitting on. Yeah, they're five guys. They're sitting in these chairs, almost like Borg. Uh, 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 uh pot. And why would they be trying to make dead bodies like, unless there was like zombie juicers that they then enhance with cybernetics? And along with that spinal column centipede, like basically controlled their body movement. You know um, that symbol that you guys saw when you were when you had the cultists uh, outside of the bunker, and, yeah. and and somebody tortured them. I'm not going to get into who did it, but somebody tortured them. I mean, got in, we got information. Not me. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> we know, yo, look, uh, Jack, yeah, yeah, Jack, yeah, yeah, Jack yeah. was Jack tortured that day. So yeah. the same symbol you see. You see it etched into their skulls. Corey, you're there, right? Yeah, I assume so. Jess is there. Give me a sense magic. Sense magic. At plus 20%. Where's my shit at? There it is. And Chief Jay, you're it. there. Right? I'm pretty sure. We, we, we're we adding the 20 to what Yeah, we add the 20 to it. Yep. Okay, so I rolled I just a 20%, looked... so I definitely beat it. You got it. So be... All right, so what do you get, Corey? I got 119. What? No, no, no. No, no, roll 20. You got to roll up, roll the percentile. Uh, yeah, and then add 25. Okay. No, 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 what it is that you, 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 20, you got to get under whatever. Under. So let's say you got whatever your skill is, add 20 to it, and you get under that. What percentage you did you roll? Uh... Well, that was what I rolled. Uh, I rolled 90, roll oh, 94 or something. Um, roll right, again. Roll again. All right. All right. 29. So, this is what you guys look at. This is it. You guys are looking at this stuff and this thing. And cheap date, you get this for free. You guys realize the thing stinks of necromancy as well. Necromancy. Will, what a coincidence. I'm dead and love Mancy's. Right. Necromancy. Again, something that should not be possible. The plot thickens. Like the point something out. You guys are awfully quiet. So is it y'all gonna let the, the one non magical dude some... no. know what's going on? Is this... So are you gonna oh, hold Nick, I'm telling you like out loud, like a corner? Like as I'm thinking it, I'm dictating it out loud. Okay. 
this is a whole bunch of kitchen sink bullshit that is good for no one. But you guys are starting to realize that's don't does anybody ask anybody else about those four other scientists that they're missing? Yeah, I'm gonna ask. Yeah, the, that's, the that's sheriff definitely and, uh, what we're gonna have to ask now. Green sheriff bean and the sheriff. That those guys were the ones that were heavy into trying to push them into exploring exploring techno wizardry. Of course. Figures. All right. Which means they're only missing in the in the standpoint of they don't want to be found, not that they have been taken. Who says they have been taken? So these guys experiment on themselves? Who knows? These guys, I'm talking talk about that? the four scientists that are missing now, too. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So oh. They, okay. All right. Ah, mm. oh, crap. Ah, oh, yep. crap. This can't be good. Not a bit Well, this it. also tells me that Northern Gun was doing some wild shit that they shouldn't have been do, uh, engaging in. Oh, so what now else is new? we don't know what's going on. Because that, that that that's the kind of stuff that shape that changes the power structure with the uh, the coalition and uh, to, you know the other places nearby. So if the coalition ever found out about this, whoever's doing it be dead. Yeah, Northern Gun's playing a very dangerous game right now because this is the kind of shit that's yeah. You know war. it's Northern Gun. That's but that's a good supposition. I mean, you guys are yeah. doing this uh, now. It's detective work time, my friends. And yeah. with that. We are going to see exactly what you guys get next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it. Well, we only took our arm off this time. This is pretty good. I like look. I like the way you guys was handling this. This is good. This is I real good. <laughs> you guys, day look. You know, it's a mystery. We like mystery, right? I like that I didn't have to use my gun. I, I'm. Uh, this is one of my most pa pacifist <laughs> episodes I've ever done. Gotta use your computer. smarts on this one, buddy. 